The gentleman yields back. And I'll recognize Ms. Ross from North Carolina for her questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Mr. Durham, for That's your right. endurance. Um, you have cited and discussed the Justice Department's principles of federal prosecution. And um, I'd just like you to explain for the public what that is. What are those principles? Sure. You know, the, the general um, principles of federal prosecution, as I've indicated, uh, provide that a federal prosecutor should not bring uh, criminal charges unless he or she uh, believes that the evidence that um, will be admissible at trial is sufficient to prove the defendant's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt and that a jury uh, can convict based on that evidence, and that if the conviction were obtained, uh, then the um, conviction would be sustained on appeal or upheld on appeal. Okay. Those are the basic principles we operate under. Thank you very much. And um, one major goal of the principles is to ensure that individuals' rights are, quote, scrupulously protected. Is that correct? That's correct. And the principles also contain a limitation on identifying uncharged third parties publicly. Is that correct? There is a limitation on that, yes. It states that in all public filings and proceedings, federal prosecutors should remain sensitive to the privacy and reputation interests of uncharged third parties. I'm just quoting it. Is that correct? That is correct. Great. Do you believe that you adhered to this limitation in your prosecutorial, prosecutorial filings in the Sussman and Dinchenko cases? Yes. Now, that's very interesting um, because many legal scholars noted that in your filings, you laid out not just the prosecution for the court to consider, but you appeared to be alleging a conspiracy that you did not intend to prosecute. Rather than indicting Mr. Sussman on the narrow charge of lying to the FBI, this is a charge which a unanimous jury of his peers acquitted him of, your filing broadly alleges a vast Clinton conspiracy identifying various individuals um, and at least one of whom you never prosecuted. And after the Sussman indictment was filed on September 16th of 2021, for example, um, President Trump's allies used the broad conclusions you allege to construct a political narrative damaging the reputations of uncharged individuals. In fact, on September 19, 2021, Eric Trump spoke with the Washington Inquirer treating these uncharged allegations as fact. At the next day, on September 20th, 2021, Trump associate Cash Patel told Fox News that the indictment offers a good view into future charges, including what he called a very well laid out conspiracy charge that will envelop people in and around Hillary Clinton's campaign. Did you read these interviews or are you aware of them? I, I did not read them. I can imagine that that's what people were saying, but I yeah. did not read them. I, I don't read a lot of newspapers, so listen to a lot of news. Um, but lot had easier. you known that that was what was going to be done with the indictment, would you have used greater caution? Um, I think we took great care in, in uh, drafting and crafting that uh, indictment and uh, did, to the best of our ability, uh, comply with all of the department's policies and procedures regarding uh, third persons. I think if you take a look at the indictment, um, in any number of instances, for example, people's identities uh, were masked. We didn't use a person's name. So uh, I'm just to gonna reclaim my time because I think that there were people who were implicated and um, there was not a narrow enough tailoring of the indictment. And then, in fact, after the February 11th filing in the Sussman case, uh, Donald Trump told Fox News that the conspiracy he claims you described but never prosecuted amounted to treason at the highest level and said, if you read the filing and have any understanding of what took place, and I called this a long time ago, you're going to see a lot of other things happening having to do with what really just is a continuation of the crime of the century. This is such a big event. Nobody has seen anything like it. And given that kind of politicization of what you did, 
Do you think that you could have exercised more caution again with respect to third parties? I exercised my judgment on, under the uh, guiding principles that I had and whether or not an indictment ought to be returned and uh, decided on that basis. I'd say, did I give consideration to what Donald Trump might say about it? I would say that was not part of my consideration. Did Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from New Jersey is now recognized